Hello, welcome to story time. Today I'm going to read two new books that we have in our collection. And the first thing we will do today is our hello song. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and I hope that you are too. The first book I have today is called When Grandpa Gives You a Toolbox. You wanted a special house for your dolls, but surprise, it's a toolbox. What should you do when Grandpa gives you a toolbox for your birthday? First, be patient. Grandpa will want to show you every single tool. Next, compliment Grandpa as he shares photos of all the projects he's built since he was a kid. Once Grandpa runs out of stories, give him a hug, say thanks, and tell him you're off to find a special place to keep your toolbox. Do not launch it into outer space, feed it to T-Rex, or tie it to a wrecking ball. There are plenty of hiding spots right in your own backyard. It'll be easy to forget about Grandpa's toolbox until you meet someone in need and have an idea. Maybe Grandpa's toolbox will be useful just this one time. As a new builder, you'll want to find an experienced project manager to help you get started. Together, you'll create a plan and gear up. Safety first. With guidance and lots of practice, you'll discover that you're actually quite handy. Your neighbor won't complain about the noise, though she will ask for help with repairs and recommend you to all her friends. At the end of the day, they'll offer to pay you but you'll have an even better idea. You and Grandpa will work together measuring and sawing, drilling and hammering, gluing and painting, until finally you feel exactly what you wanted. A special house for your dolls. and plans for your next project too. Okay, the next thing we will do is sing our open them, shut them. Okay, everybody ready? Have your hands up. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them up to your chin. Open up your mouth, but don't put them in. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Put them in your lap. The last book I have today is called My Rainy Day Rocket Ship. Mom says it's too rainy to play outside today, so I'll have to find my fun another way. I could get in some laughs with inside toys, cars, and games that bring much joy. But I've been there and done that stuff. Today I'll make something really tough. Like a whole new world in a different place, a galaxy off in outer space. I'll need a rocket to get me there. Hmm, how about this rocking chair? And I'll need a super launching pad. This will require some tools from Dad. A cardboard 
box in, in a bunch of socks. These will surely serve me well on this mission. I cannot fail. Now let me see about a spacesuit. These swimming trunks and goggles should do. Of course astronauts need a flag. Perhaps I can use mom's old dish rag. Dad does a countdown from behind the couch. Five, four, three, two, one. Mom makes sure I don't feel an ouch. Zoom, 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 all the way from the living room. Down the hall, riding on a broom. Prepare for landing on planet XYZ. It's a safe arrival in my BED, also known as the land of Z's. The end. I hope you enjoyed these new books. And just as a reminder, you can always put these items on hold and pick them up on at curbside. Thank you.